Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at how to do parameter queries. So I've got a small database here with a table which we are going to use called address details, which is names and addresses. Close that one down. Now, to create a parameter query, it's a normal process. You click on create, query design, and then you add the table that you want to look at. So I've already said address details, and I'm going to double click on address details and just bring everything down. So what a parameter query is, it basically stops you having to do things like this. So if I wanted to see everybody who lived in Leeds, normally in a normal query, I would just type Leeds on the criteria line and then run this and it shows me Leeds. If I go back into design, then if I, then I would save that and then I would have to do one for Bradford. So if I type Bradford, run that one, shows me everybody from Bradford and then I would save that. So basically you would end up saving lots and lots of queries that would be exactly the same and they would take up lots of space and the really basically duplicate. The only difference would be the town that you've put in there. So what a parameter query does, it allows you to save one query and then feed different criteria through the parameter box. And to activate a parameter query, you just need to open it with a square bracket on the criteria row. So another criteria row. And then type a prompt in there, like enter the city. You cannot put the same name as the field. It just doesn't like it. So enter the city. Now when I run this, it asks me for the city and I can type leads. There's leads. And if I go back into design, the same query, run it again. Type Bradford. And it shows you Bradford. So if I save this query, I've got just one query. And I will save this one actually. Save QRY para. So I'll just show you how this then would pan out if you created a, if I close this down, if you created a report on that. So you go create report. I'll just go straight forward into a report. I'm not too fussed about how it looks at the minute. So it's asking me the same information. So I type leads and then it just shows me the information in a report format for leads. If I close that one down, don't want to save it. Create a report again for Bradford. And then it shows me the results of Bradford. So you then would save this report and I'll just put RPT in front of that, RPT. Okay, close that down. So every time you run this, so if I run it now, it asks me the question, I type leads, shows me leads. I run it again, it asks me the question, type Bradford, it shows me Bradford and so on and so on. That's how parameter queries work. Now, if you want, if I just create a new query, you can have multiple parameters. So if I add the same table and just drop all the fields in again. So you've got surname field there. So I could have a parameter there saying enter surname, square bracket close, and also enter city. Open square bracket, enter city, close square bracket. Now I need to look at the table here for a second. So we've got loads of leads. So we've got Jones in leads. And we've got Smith, two Smiths in there. So I'll go for Smith and in leads. So I'll run the query, go back to design, run surname, Smith, enter, city, leads, enter. So that's just two multiple parameter queries if you want. I won't bother saving that one. No. Now there's a, a wildcard feature that you can use when you are doing this. Obviously you might not, you might have plenty of things. You might want everything that starts with the letter L or starts with the letter L E. So you want Leeds and London for the letter L or you just want Leeds and Leicester L E. It's, it's up to you what you want to search for, but there is a feature, a wildcard feature that you can put on a parameter box that will help you do that. So if I just create another query, query design, bring the table in again, double click on the title and then drop it down. In fact, if I just uh, do that slightly different, 
because it's just a long-winded way of doing that. If I double click on the asterisk, it brings all the things down and I only want to then look at the city field. So I brought the city field down. Now I need to take that tick off because there's a city field in here as well because that symbol brings all the fields down. So if I run this, you've got all the fields and at the end you've got the city again. So I don't want to see that city field. I'm just going to use that for my criteria. So go back into design, take the tick off, and then you're going to do the parameter wildcard parameter on this. So it starts off with like, then you do your parameter box, enter city, close parameter box, and then you need to use a the and sign, which is I call a glue point, to glue it together with an asterisk, which is a wildcard symbol. So enter city inside the parameter box, but like at the beginning. Now, when you run this, okay, it's got a wrong bracket there. Look, can't type. Need a square bracket. When you run this, it asks you enter city. I'm just going to put L. And then it's picked up Leeds and London. I'll just go back into design. And if I run it again and put LO, that'll just pick up London. LO, London. Back into design. Run it again. BR, Bradford. So it's a bit more flexible. And especially for names, if you wanted everything starting with SE or SM, you know, if, if I look at the address table again let's have a quick look at names we haven't got anything that's got the similar sort of name starting off um so let's do another record so you get the idea 16 mr dave blue oh, the stupid name but here you go you've got something now so if I go back into design on this and just change this around to the name, surname field, and enter name that would have to be now. And then when I run that, so LBL, it brings in black and blue. So that's basically a parameter query and that's the wildcard on a parameter query. So hopefully that was of use to you and I will see you on the next session. Thank you for your time.